Hello and welcome to Severin Films Unboxing. Uh, it's December 25th of 2021 and I've had these packages from Severin for a few days already but I haven't gotten around to unboxing them yet so I have my wife here helping me to deal with that and I have my Black Friday order over here in the bigger box and a pre-order on the smaller one and I think we should start with this one so you can do the unboxing on us now please <laughs> Looks like a t-shirt. So what do you think of that? Uh, oh, me! Yeah. <laughs> That's cool! Mm. I might steal it. <laughs> okay. First up we have black candles. There seems to be some glare, so oh. maybe I should hold it because I can see what it looks like. There's glare everywhere, <laughs> no matter which way I turn it. Maybe we have to remove the plastic to get a better look at it. They have to have the security tape as well. So this film was released by Code Red earlier on in the United States and I always wanted to get it but it's really hard to get Code Red titles imported here and really expensive. So I'm happy that Severin went ahead and released them released it by themselves and um, I've been he hearing lately that th this is quite a sleazy film that there is <laughs> uh, mostly just 99% of uh, sexual encounters and 1% <laughs> of other stuff so um, I think this is yeah this is no, this is not Alara's film as I was thinking before. I don't know why I thought it was by him. But yeah, what do you think this looks like? Uh, interesting. <laughs> we'll maybe watch it today. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we have next? We have... The Forbidden Door. Hmm. I have... a no memory of buying this <laughs> but <laughs> but that might be because i i bought the nasty friday bundle that had had all the newest releases in it and i didn't really even pay much attention what was included in it i was just uh, mainly interested in a few titles that will be coming later and i didn't really even much look at all the other stuff so I really have no no clue what this is. Uh, who is it by? Yoko Anwar or something like that. From 2009 and, and it's an Indonesian film. So that should be something that you don't see every day mm, <laughs> interesting disc art <laughs> so what are you thinking about that one <laughs> seems that we have alternative <laughs> cover art here 
it also looks very peculiar. Is there a pregnant lady hanging somewhere? Yeah, it, it, it looks like some kind of uh, pregnant lady kidnapping situation. So. Hmm. Be interesting. Yeah, maybe tomorrow we watch. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll have uh, the halfway house. Okay. Hmm. I have uh, no <laughs> idea about this one <laughs> either. I I usually I'm usually not this clueless about what I buy, but <laughs> this time. I really didn't take much. Well, I didn't do much research on these films. And again, with the security, they tape the miss. Why do they have to do this? I don't understand. Mm. They are just sitting in a in a storage facility and not in a store or something like that. Alternative cover art here. It seems to be something about evil nuns and relentless nudity and sexual depravity <laughs> and low Lovecraftian carnage. So it sounds like a good family time. <laughs> hmm. Then we have Pallad in the Plot. This is a Rukero Diodato film and I believe I have actually heard about this one. So this is from the same guy who, who made Cannibal Holocaust for example and a bunch of other exploitation films. But this is uh, his recent film from um, 2016. I, I think this is uh, some something like uh, like so something about the youth of today and and how how they pa party like like there's no tomorrow and and the, the director is somehow uh, offended by by all the dep depravity that the youth do these days <laughs> even though he made pretty crazy stuff himself back in the day. So no alternative cover out here but it's okay. So what's next? <laughs> okay, <laughs> night of open six. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the Jess Franco films that I have been missing from the Severin catalog and yeah I've been starting I've been collecting those lately and part of the reason I got this one is because it has one of those uh, Jess Franco documentaries that is spread over several discs this has in the land of Franco part 2 and it's this this documentary by Stephen Trower about filming locations of of the films that just Franco has made and I have all the other parts except the first two and the first two are included in this package here Yeah, Jess Franco is something that if if you want to see see a film that is nothing like the usual Hollywood fair that you would see most of the time, then this would be something completely different from that. <laughs> we have a bloody bit of horror. I have 
have absolutely no <laughs> idea about playing this one either. Cover art looks really cool and, the, and I have to say that the, the new slip covers from Severin are much nicer than before. This is starting to be like vinegar syndrome quality. So what is this about? It's kinky Italian horror <laughs> from 1960s. <laughs> yeah, and it seems that a saucy photoshoot breaks into an abandoned, abandoned castle, and there's some mm. kind of some kind of a male body obsessed owner, some muscle man called Mickey Hartigay. I don't know who who that is, but <laughs> so sounds like a Good, crazy Italian film time. Yeah. Okay. And then we have the, uh, perhaps the main title of the wholesale, <laughs> Night of the Demon. It's a Bigfoot movie from 1980, I believe. I have never seen this one either, but a lot of people are excited about this released release, and, and there is something. Well, I suppose the uh, the big foot is called a dick demon, <laughs> 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 or at least there is the Severin is also sell, selling or was selling this statue of of this big foot and. It had this severed dick in his hand, so they called it the dick de demon on the website. I don't know if if the Bigfoot gets called that in the movie or not. We have to see this, <laughs> maybe tonight. <laughs> but it should be dick ripping fun. <laughs> so there's the uh, there's the movie and a lot of extras and I believe there's some kind of docu documentary about Bigfoot films on this as, as well. And we have alternative cover, cover art here. I think this one is better. Yeah, me too. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this one. Taking tea for the last. <laughs> Ooh, this is this is nice. Yeah, this is a really, really a vinegar syndrome level slip cover mm -hmm. action here, and this is another film that I bought the bundle for. Really, house on the edge of the park, and I actually do have a Blu-ray of this already from Gold Red. I believe that was. And it was gifted to me by my, my YouTube buddy. And I still haven't got around to seeing it. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But yeah, now I have this new new release of it as well, which has a bunch of extras and a CD soundtrack and a security tag. <laughs> soundtrack listing thingy yeah. yeah oh and the 
tässä teodata holokausta, että I think this is some kind of documentary about his films. So yeah, this is by the same guy as well as, as, as the Nepal Holocaust and that other film, Ballad of Blood. And this is the gift card that Severin was giving during the Black Friday orders because they had a bunch of problems with the website so they gave a $20 gift card for next purchase. Okay. <laughs> This is the another Chess Franco oh. release with the part one for the documentary series. Fun, I suppose. <laughs> One <Wow>. green. <laughs> mm. That's a special limited edition <laughs> peanut. Oh, there's two. Okay, so it's not so special, I guess. <laughs> That's exploitation. So this is uh, a documentary about the 70s exploitation films. Oh, okay. And I think this is, uh, yeah, this is directed by Frank Henenlotter, the same guy who made Basket Case and <gasps> Brain Damage and Frank and Hugo. Oh, okay, yeah. So it it will be an educating <laughs> <laughs> thing. I I hope. crazy about the packaging here but um, I've always been interested in seeing this one so now it was on sale for like 10 bucks or something like that oh yeah and, and then I got two slip covers I didn't get the films yet because the films, films were pretty <laughs> expensive I will try to get them later when they are actually on sale but these these two slip covers were some um, some con exclusive ones but then they decided to also sell them on their website this is uh, I don't remember what was the English title for this one maybe it was blood moon or bloody moon or something like that but anyways it's one of their old releases so I don't feel like paying full price for that. But these were like five bucks this slipcovers, so it's okay. And this is Midnight. I believe this is one of the newer releases. But yeah, I decided to wait on getting that film as well. And then we have several stickers as usual, but uh, I've never had a purple one. So hmm. at school usually, that's new. yeah. And what's this? Some posters and stuff about cannibal holocaust. I don't know why, but okay then. <laughs> so that was all of it. And then we have the next package. This is a pre-order I made back in August and it arrived at the same time as the Black Friday thing and it seems that they spoiled the <laughs> surprise on the package already so this is the folk horror box set from Severin that I've been waiting for for a long time now so it will be fun to get into this one 
Maybe I'll help you open that. <laughs> Additional tape anywhere else? Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So this has some special packaging that you couldn't order anything else with the item. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so the special thing about is this. Fluff or, what's or dry people? hay. Yeah, dry hay. <laughs> That's the correct word for it. <laughs> I think we That's could. I think we could <laughs> use this to uh, feed our cat. <laughs> no, no, not our cat, but uh, start a fire in our yeah, 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 yeah. in our oven. <laughs> <laughs> this is really nasty stuff. It seems to be falling everywhere. Oh, yeah. And I think our cat will love this, yeah. if she finds this. <laughs> I don't know where to put this thing. Here it is, finally. It's a really heavy box set. Like, almost feels like a, like a, you have a brick in your hand. <laughs> not, <laughs> not, not a seat brick, but an actual building brick. Incredibly shiny. Maybe possibly read something there, but I'm not sure. But anyway, there is uh, 20 feature films here, and 3 CDs, and 12 Blu rays, and some kind of booklet. probably have seen a million unboxing of this one so I don't think I will get too deep into it but there is the, the first first feature on here is a documentary about about folk horror movies in general and then there's a big selection of such films for, from all over the world should be quite fulfilling for all your folk horror needs for those of you who are really into that craze right now and I must say that I'm one of those and then there's the booklet and it's a really really big one as you can see ton of stuff here. I don't know if there's any any same info here as, as on the documentary but yes cool stuff anyways. <laughs> um, there were some stickers. Okay some some um with <laughs> type stickers maybe or something. Yeah. And a 
that is all for the severing stuff. And then we have a little bonus unboxing here. We got three additional titles from elsewhere. Here we have a Jackie Chan classic from 88 films, Armor of God. This is one of those most beloved Jackie Chan films. And I think I have have seen this, but it's been like 20 or so years, so I don't really remember much about it. the pack cover art and what we have inside the blu-ray with kung fu pop cover art as on the box itself but we also have some alternative art here which doesn't seem to have the info from the back, so that's a bit unfortunate, but I can live with it. <coughs> Bless you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> and we have two cuts of the film, the international cut and Hong Kong cut. And a bunch of cards that I can get out of this. Thingy, band thingy. These are always a pain, as you might have seen in my recent Mulholland Drive video. <laughs> <laughs> Just do one millimeter at a time. A pen I I can hold here, and you can pull. Oh yeah. Yeah. Teamwork. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner room fun with locks on fire <laughs> and some poop holding action <laughs> <laughs> and some kind of musical performance or something. <laughs> Maybe dancing or yeah. And then we have some. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What what do you call it? Uh, like tribe stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so um, there's a, a lot of different stuff going on here. And then we have a poster which probably has the same art as on the box set. Yep. some old original post poster from Hong Kong I suppose and a pretty thick booklet here as well of pictures and writing as you might expect from a booklet something about a video game Cannonball 2 hmm. I, don't, I don't know what this has to do with the film is this related to the Cannonball Run 2 film or something yeah there seems, seems to be some, con some kind of article about Jackie Chan in video games, so not, not just related to this film. There's something about a Project A game and a 
bunch of other ones, poly story too even. Well, this is really fascinating. The, there was also something like this on an Eureka release of some film. I can't remember which one, but it also had an article about old video game adaptation of the film or something like that. So that's really something different that you don't really expect to see in something like this. So maybe I will actually read this someday. And then I have another 88 films release. An Italian film Hatcher, Hatchet for the Honeymoon. Don't really know much about this one, but of course I have to buy all this kind of limited edition shit. <laughs> I can't help myself. <laughs> The limited edition stuff I buy is mainly of these obscure cult films that, more, that the masses don't really know about. Mm -hmm. And some people just put, put hundreds on, on a special edition of a Marvel movie or something mm -hmm. that is really just the same disc that you can get from anywhere else, but there's a bunch of uh, cool packaging included, so that's why they buy them. Uh, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but I think these are more collectible and spe special and not something that uh, everyone has. Then we have a mini poster. That's the box and then some original Italian poster art, I presume. And I think we have the same art here, yes. Let's flip that. So this is part of the Italian collection from 88 Films. I have quite many of these. All of them. Can I see yeah. what's it about? Yeah. Wow, this is some kind of serial killing stuff. Yeah, it seems to be directed by Mario Bava. It says with with echoes of Psycho and Peeping Tom. Mm -hmm. really don't have my my camera position, positioned as well as I would like this time. I just keep keep uh, the blu rays down here and you can't see anything on the picture. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's all this glare everywhere. But I hope this video won't be a complete disaster. <laughs> then one more title. I got this one used from Huuto.net, which is the Finnish equivalent for eBay. And this is based on a Stephen King book called, uh, well, I don't know if the book is called that, but this film is called, is called <laughs> uh, 1408. It's a room number in a hotel, I think. I have actually seen this on DVD many years ago, and I really liked it. It had, it had some shining type stuff going on with all kind of uh, like ghost and hallucination stuff going on in a big hotel. So I, I wanted to upgrade it to HD and I found a really good deal on this. So I think we will enjoy this with you. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. So that is all for now and I want to thank my wife for taking part in this film.
this isn't the first. No, not this is not the film. This is an <laughs> unboxing video. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but <laughs> uh, anyways, thank you what for taking part in this. And I know it's scary to do your first YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for having me. <clears throat> so thank you for watching and see you next time.